There's a saying that a burden shared is a burden lifted, and that was said to me recently, and I want to share why that's important. Let's get started. Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach, and what I've been doing lately has been putting more color into faces, and I've been doing that by taking an online class with David K. Lobenberg, which you can do too. I'm really enjoying it. So what I've been doing is faces of people that I know. It's really important for me to do faces of people I know right now because I won't know if I've really nailed it if it's somebody that I'm not familiar with. So what's good about it is that I'm starting to have my friends and family around me and that's really nice because some of these people live really far away. Some of them are close by but I don't see them as frequently as I would like to and I feel like they're starting to become part of my community and my studio which is really really fun for me and it's been really challenging and I do like a challenge. There's nothing I like better than a challenge so when I go to bed at night I think what if I could try that tomorrow? I wonder if it will work. So there's been a lot of experimentation and not all of it has been successful, but what it has done is it's made me happy to participate in painting. And that's what I really want to do. The other thing I wanted to say is uh, a burden shared is a burden lifted. Someone said that to me recently and I kind of clicked with me because I haven't talked to you in the studio. I've been online, you've been seeing the art, but you haven't seen me. And the reason for that is that something happened which was really, that's permanently a shift for me. And it was, it's really, really hard. And because it's really, really hard, what I tend to do is shut down and, and not do anything. I, I, talk, I take care of myself. I'm, I'm good about that. You know, I take care just like you take care of a plant and make sure to feed and water this human being. But I ha I, in the past, I haven't reached out when something has been this confounding. And I'm really glad that I am reaching out. I'm really glad now that I have this channel and that I'm posting too, because I think that's part of the healing for me. And it's definitely part of the energy. You can tell I have some energy in my voice today. And that's because I'm doing this and because I'm sharing. And if I do it in my studio and don't interact in any way, my energy will just sort of go down and down and down. And so I'm finding that really important. But I didn't know that. I really didn't know that before. I thought I was sort of like, I mean, this is probably presumptuous, but like I, I was doing a service. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like, how can I help other people paint better because uh, and, and learn because I can share what I've learned so far or as I'm learning it. And I realized, you know, it's really not about, really not about you as most things in this world are. They're not about me. <laughs> I always think they're about me, but they're not. And in this case, it definitely is not about me. It's about you. And that your sharing with me is what's keeping me productive and keeping me in a really good place. And I wanted to say that I'm extremely grateful for that. And I am kind of surprised that that wasn't illuminated until something recently happened that required me to, um, to dig deep and understand that. So, you know, when you know something, you know, I always say when you know better, you do better. But in this case, um, I wanted to share that I know better and I'll do better. So as always, I say, remember to keep the whites, your paper white and your paints wet and ask for value, mix for color. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.